fellas. All right, now's the time where I futz around with the audio. Okay, I see that I am, in fact, live. Let me put my headphones on. And do I have audio? Either it's not working, either these aren't working, or... Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, so now what's the problem here? What's your problem? If I unplug my headphones, is the desktop audio going to come out? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's another problem for another day. That being my headphones not working, which is very peculiar. Um, given that they were working last night. Okay, let me just try this one more time, and I'm sorry ahead of time that it's going to echo. Okay, so now I'm just going to, you know, test the audio. Okay, yeah, so that's working. So now I can close Twitch. Actually, I shouldn't have closed it. I should always have that open just in case for some reason I need it. Um, let me just go back. My channel still on mute okay so I have that open but I'm gonna minimize it and then main screen twitch I mean OBS and we're back at it baby hiya fellas welcome to the third stream of um, this uh, I may have cheated a little bit offline um, aka 20 minutes ago I went in and I blended the inside of the gums. See, last night we blended the outside. And, um, what did I say I had? Begging your pardon, I have an interruption. Do, 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 not today. Anyway, uh, last night. We put this noodle on and we blended the outside, um, but I forgot to do the inside before I ended the stream, so I just quick did that. Um, the point is, we've got the gums up and ready, so now I'm going to take these off, because I can't see with them. They're even worse than the Matrix glasses. Um, and let's see, let me assess the situation. What do we want to do next? Next, I think, we're gonna get ourselves another ball of clay. Jeez Louise, I am popular. My dad's texting me. I mean, I haven't heard from him for, you know, like four hours since we went out and got lunch. And literally, as soon as the stream starts, that's when everybody's texting me. Okay, so we're going to get some clay, and we're just going to start doing the ridges on the roof of the mouth. Alright, and I'm going to start with some noodles about this size. And we're just going to thin it out. You want to make sure that it stretches all the way across the roof of the mouth, and we want to make it as even as we, as possible. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need... what do we need? What tool do we want? Blender Man? Sure. Hello, baby. Just tuck that in there. Just tuck it in. Bats. No. That's a bit too far back, isn't it? Yes, it is. There we go. Now we're just going to blend it, and hopefully... The first one is always going to be... A little tricky because that's very far back um, so you don't have a lot of space to work with without squishing the noodle but just do what you can and hope that anything that isn't perfect will be too far back to actually see Oh, 
Also, I sound a bit phlegmy today because I had my dinner about five minutes before the stream, um, and I had a vegetable soup. It was good soup. And I may or may not have inhaled a tomato. And it's still, you know, bouncing around in there. Yeah, so we just want to blend that bod, bad boy, bod boy. Okay, what do I have that I could do better with that? Oh, I know. I've got a wide metal ball, and I'm just going to stuff it back there and just kind of blend it just a little bit better than what the pointy blender man was doing. Yeah, that's good. And now that you've done that, find your ball of clay that you keep misplacing. And do that about as many more times as can fit up in that mouth. What would what, what that mouth do? Stupid. Yeah, just thin it out. And then just shove it up there roughly where it needs to go with your hands and then get your blender man and tuck it into place and then squish it just a little bit just a bit with your finger just to make sure that it sticks where it needs to go and I kind of have mine tucked right up against the other one that's a little bit closer than I would have liked blood it's squished there now so that's where it's going and I suppose in the net in a natural animal mouth it wouldn't be perfectly even kind of like um, that what they say about drawing eyebrows they're sisters not twins or something I, I used to always think they said that um, just to make you feel better about drawing shitty eyebrows I could never draw. Well, that's not true. Sometimes I could draw. And I'm not saying that like, oh, yeah, I can draw sometimes. No, most of the time it was actual garbage. And then once I drew a very nice eye. Not quite photorealistic, for sure. I'm not, I'm not going to say that. But it was, it was pretty good, I thought. I think I still have that drawing knocking around somewhere in the inventory. Actually, I don't really need to blend this side of it because I'll be doing that when I place the next next noodle. Okay, now is the time to get up in there. <sighs> This is dedication to the arts at the lowest level. If you're not willing to do this, get up in there and some weird angles, then you're not ready for all kinds of other weird shit. That was loud, I'm sorry. <coughs> just say I'm not going to bother with that side. Listen to yourself. Hydrate. Spill water on yourself. Rub it on your shirt and get back to work. That's how it's done, baby.
this noodle is being particularly challenging in that it's not thinning evenly. Oh, and that's too big. So now we can make it fatter. And just a little bit, a little bit shorter. I bet that's too short. Oh, that's too short. You know, like that little micro Doctor Who reference? Excuse me. Get up there. I have a pair of um, glasses that have lights on them for this specific kind of work, but I don't know what kind of battery they use. Um, I do know that I don't have them. <laughs> They're one of those tiny itty bitty batteries. I was gonna get in the way a little bit here, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me adjust. Let me adjust. keep looking back to make sure I'm not blocking anything for the camera, but I also want to be able to see. Luckily, I am partially ambidextrous, so I can do this with my left hand. It's, no, it's just not quite as good. See, that's the thing they don't tell you about being lightly ambidextrous. It's not, oh, I can do everything equally as good with my left hand or my right hand. No, for me, I don't know about everyone who is ambidextrous, it's I can do, um, I can write with my right hand, although my handwriting does suck. Um, I can write better with my right hand, but I can wield a sword better with my left hand. Or I can, uh, hammer a nail in better with my left hand. Or I can text better with my right hand. And I've just completely mushed these two together. Let me just correct that real quick. And whenever you're applying pressure to, say, the gums here, um, you want to make sure you put your finger on the other side for support, because if you'll remember, the form of the dragon only came to... Hang on. Can you see my finger at the top here? Um, or the thing? Uh, if you remember, the form of the dragon only came to about here, and this part is all clay, so there's no structural support there. So if you push too hard from the other side, it will break. Oh, what's my left hand doing now? Come on, bring it back. Take it back now, y'all. I need something narrower. I have something narrower. Somewhere here. Probably, I thought. Did I not take that tool out? I have a smaller version of this blender man that I could have sworn I dug out. Ah, evidently not. Cause here it is. Okay. Let's let's get back into the position. We're back in formation. Pull that hand out. Yep, there we go. I'm just trying to fix a bit of stupidity where I mushed these 
the first two noodles that we put in kind of together so they looked more like one flat plateau 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 <laughs> okay i think i got it can't see if on this side because there's a wing in my way maybe if i come up from this side i can see actually yeah yeah i can let me get my arm in there yeah oops sorry love What's that? That's the tongue. That's actually pretty good. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> Alright, next noodle. <clears throat> Again, similar size. Although, as you get closer to the nose, you're going to get smaller and smaller noodles. I'm keeping them roughly the same size until I get to probably about, I don't know, this point. Because it's okay to have thicker ones and smaller ones. Because again, nature is not symmetrical. Oh, before I put this on, I think it's time for another obligatory audio check, so let me just drive you nuts with the echoing audio here. Hello? Okay. We're good. We're Gucci. We're Gucci, Versace, Coach, other brand. I don't know many high-end brands. What? No, that's such a shock. You seem like such a classy person. How can you not know every single um, brand that is for rich people? Oopsies. Alright, back into the zone. Auto zone. Smush it closer. Can you, like, see my nose as I'm doing this? Because I am very close to the camera. <laughs> if you can, I'm sorry. Just tease it in. Just tease it. Yeah. Where's that left hand? Just blend them together. Close those seams. Beautiful. Marvelous. And don't worry too much about the ends of these noodles. We'll come back to them. AKA, I'm going to forget about them until it's time to put the teeth in. That is definitely too big. Actually, no. Is it? Is it though? Yeah, it's too big. You see, it gets narrower as you get closer to the nose. Hello, my darling. Okay. Back down you go. Lots of back and forth. Now normally, if I were doing this just myself, um, especially if I were working on a smaller project than this one, I would just rotate the dragon. Like I would just be picking it up and spinning it around to suit the angles I need. And yes, that did get 
tiring for my wrist because I'd be holding up like a four pound thing like that for hours. Also, did you hear that crack? That was... I'm gonna stop that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyway, I would just be flipping it all over to uh, the angles that I needed to observe it. But since I've got a webcam that is harder to flip and rotate with it, um, I'm not going to do that. Hang on. Sorry. I see what's going on here. We've got a bigger gap on this side than that side. But that's not a problem. We just got to start factoring that in when we put our noodles in. We're going to make them thinner on this side and wider on that side. And they're not going to be that big. They're going to be this big. Yeah, so I'm gonna try working with that. No, wait. With that. I don't like doing that. But what else am I gonna do? Start all over? Nah, son. Nah. Fuck you. And your mom. And your dad, and your aunties too. Come on, come on, little one. Push, push. I just finished watching Jurassic World Dominion the other night. I'll be honest, it was not good. I mean, to be fair, I had the movie broken up in two different parts um, over the span of several, several months. Um, because we started watching it before we had internet set up in the house. Then we finally got internet, and that was a whole rodeo and a half. Um, so yeah, then... I remembered, oh yeah, we started watching that and never finished it. I'm gonna finish watching it. And then I did. And it was great, didn't buffer. <laughs> Which is something you want to see. Or not see. But, um, yeah, it was just a lot of... I don't know, Just it, I just thought the plot was kind of dumb. And it felt like the dinosaurs were moving a lot slower, or weirdly. It felt like any time a dinosaur was on screen, at least in the la later half of the movie, because that's what I remember, um, it just felt like any time a dinosaur was on screen, it was a setup to a horror movie where like the kid's hiding under the bed and you can just see the monster's claws creeping down. Like, it felt like that was the vibe they were going for, which is cool, in one, maybe two shots, but it was like, almost every shot felt like that. And it was just, a, it was just a bit much, I thought. But I did like all the dinosaurs that they actually put feathers on. They looked cool. Okay, I think that's gonna be the last one I put in there.
good. Speaking of horror movies, ah! <laughs> So since that's the last full noodle I'm going to put in there, I'm also going to I'm just going to stop talking is what I'm going to do. I am also going to blend the front of the noodle. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to sort out the crick in my neck. Oh. Woo! Now forgive me, but I may need to take this out of frame so I can inspect it. Oh, sweet Christmas! Okay, yeah, that's very uneven. But is it uneven enough that I care? Hmm. Hmm. Put you down! Oh, gosh! Boy, damn boy, he thick. You know, when I was putting the clay on this, I started with an eight bo eight pound box of clay, and I think the wings. Well, actually, no, I didn't start with that. It was less than that because I had already used some for Neon Boy. Little misfit. So I want to say, like, the wings alone were close to th three or four pounds. All right. Really not happy with how uneven it is. The show must go on. So now that that's done, I am also going to get a teeny tiny little ball, and I think my large circle, large metal um, circle tool, and I'm just going to tuck this up at the end here. And if you feel up with your tongue, like right right on the other side of the center of your lip. You can feel there's kind of a divide there. I'm sure there's a fancy name for it. I don't know what that is, and I'm not going to look it up because I don't care that much. Um, and that's that's what this is going to be. Do, do, do. Just blend it in. And once you have it blended, then you can shape it to what you want, and I'm going to use the small blender man to do that, or at least to do part of that. That's going to shape it in- fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I fucked it up! My hand totally just jerked there. But that's okay. Fine, he totally meant to do that. We're good. And I'm just gonna squeeze in there, make more of a of a a, a pit. And then making this bit of clay more of a pronounced um bridge. Then I also want to squish down a little bit, separating it from this, the last noodle that we put up. And after that's done, I'm going to squish down 
just a little bit towards the front so it kind of forks off into two bits because I think that looks cool and I think that's what I saw once in a reference picture of some animal or another so now that's what I do <laughs> okay Whew. neck <clears throat> wah or wah okay so next and frankly I should have, done, should have done this first but I didn't so fuck me this is definitely too big we want half of that probably less but I'm just going to eke it down and I'll explain what I'm doing as soon as I figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to get a longish noodle. About that long. Well, that long. And I'm going to tuck it up lengthwise along the roof of the mouth. And it should be thicker at the back. Because again, if you feel with your tongue, there's kind of a lump. Like way. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? Screw you and your mother. Not you. I love you. There we go. And once again, get your, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the circle tool. Metal, metal ball. And first I'm gonna squish it up there lightly with my finger. You wanna make sure this is as close to center as you can possibly get. Or at the very least, close to center over here and close to the center of the tongue. I think my tongue's a little bit off center, but I think it looks fine on the screen there, so it looks fine in my heart. So now, squish it up there and blend it. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, what was that? Was that my computer? Was that the audio fucking up? I think it's time to find out. Time to play with the audio. And uh, listen to it, see if it's still working. Yeah? Yeah, sounds good. USB device not recognized. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, that's... Latest UB... What in the Sam fuck? I was having some trouble with my webcam, this one, earlier, um, and that in that it froze and stopped, you know, projecting. But that's clearly not the issue here because I can still see its feed. So I'm just gonna just pretend that nothing happened, frankly. And if it stops working, guess I guess I'll just um, go fuck myself. All right, back down. Blend it in, Sunny Jim. Yeehaw. I am completely blocking it for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try to do better. No promises. Blend it, blend it, blend it. And as you're blending, you want to make sure that you're not squishing the horizontal noodles that we put up. You want to make sure that you are blending to them. Gently. And if it's easier, you can just make the crevasses in between the horizontal noodles deeper.
and we'll make it prettier after we get it blended because that's that is the first priority is getting it blended getting rid of those seams between bits of clay okay like so then you come up for air oh man lordy lordy i'm over 40. oh that's my favorite saying also those were my elbows in case you heard that okay back to it all right now you've got it blended so next what we're gonna do is get even deeper in there stand by yeah and we're gonna make these gaps between the horizontal lumps of clay i'm trying not to use, overuse the word noodle but that's that's what they are um anyway we're, we're gonna make the gaps in between them just a little bit deeper try not to scrape so much as Fuck, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, try not to scrape so much as gently drag. Okay, there's one. Yay. two and actually it is okay if you scrape it so much as you go back and fix any rough edges after you go yeah that's looking good hey there's that uneven piece we put in that's fine ah do you ever not blink for just a short period of time and then you get a microscopic speck of dust or something in your eye and it doesn't sting like it doesn't hurt as much as say an eyelash would or a bit of mascara or the entire mascara brush um but it does sting a little bit and it's just a mild inconvenience ah. oh. okay maybe I can do this with my left hand give my right a break yeah I wish I was one of those cool ambidextrous people where I could do everything equally with both hands although I must admit I am doing a lot better with my left than I have in the past. Honestly, what you're doing is you're kind of making it look like a rib cage. All right. Oh. Come back up for air. How does it look on there? Pretty good. But we're not done yet. Because now what we're going to do is use the ball tool. No, to start with, I'm going to use the micro blender man. Excuse me. And we're just going to rub it lengthwise along the noodle that we just put in and separate it into two halves hopefully evenly in fact i have to lift this up and do it from this perspective to be sure i do it moderately correctly again nothing's perfectly symmetrical in nature but some things have to be at least sort of on point Okay, I don't like this tool for that job, 
So I'm going to put you back down. Come on, babes. There you go, babes. There you go. Pick up my metal ball again. And hop right back to it. And we're going to squish in kind of where those crevices are. Only on the top piece that we just laid down. And then we're going to drag them into the crevice a little bit. Smooth it out. Can you see it all? No, of course you can't. I'm sorry. And then very gently uh, continue to do that, actually. Anyway, after you're done that, very gently re-blend the top piece to the horizontal noodles. And any other harsh lines you may see. Oh, I gotta block you for this one for sure. There was like a big old gap right up up in there. Gonna block you again. Okay. <laughs> All right. How's that looking on your side? Is it uneven? How'd it get uneven? That's more like it. Okay, do this again. Wish some of that down because that's too much. Now, as you're working, it's wise to consider the long term. Like, um, are you going to paint it? And if you are going to paint it, all these nooks and crannies, are you going to be able to get paint in there? I never consider these. And therefore, when it comes time to paint, it sucks. Not the final product. I think I do an okay job painting, but I do hate painting. Honestly, I hate painting in any context, whether it's painting dragons, whether it's painting um, a, a, a canvas, or whether it's painting cabinets. I painted all these cabinets, you know, just a simple white. And the reason why I went with the flat style cabinets, um, I don't know if you can tell, but... The reason I went with the plainest style cabinets is because I knew that I would hate painting and more specifically dusting anything with like um, any kind of panel on it. So flat. Bingo bongo. What did I just fling onto myself? A bit of clay? Where'd that come from? Probably the wing. Anyway... 
so I made this a little bit too uneven. So I'm just shoving it to the le left on your side. Yeah. Or I could save myself the effort and make a small noodle that I can put along <coughs> excuse me, alongside that. Sorry. I had high hopes to finish the mouth this evening. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Although, to be honest, the bottom half of the mouth is not that difficult. That is... that's too big. I haven't done a dragon this small, or more specifically, a dragon head this small for a very long time. blend that is that going to be too uneven fuck it we ball and be quick about it blend 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 it Good. Now we separate them horizontally. And I know I'm probably blocking it again. Yep. Uh, let me just get these back a few bits and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Because it's the back that's really tricky. Okay. But I'm just doing the same thing I've been doing for the last, what, 10 minutes? I'm just blending and then separating and then blending again. <coughs> oh, damn, that tomato is really fucking messing with me. And I can't even say I was doing something um, that warranted it, you know, like I was talking while eating or maybe I was um, laughing at something, you know, watching a funny show and just inhaled it. No, I was just breathing. I'm just um, gifted like that. I'm talented. Okay, I'm going to call it there. Yeah, so the top of the mouth right there, that's donezo. So now we're going to move on to the bottom, which is going to be harder for you to see because of angles. So let me just try and mess with this a little bit. Um, put this like almost flat on my desk. You know what? Good enough. What about the light? Do I need to move that at all? I think that's pretty fine where it is. Okay. Alright, so the bottom, like I said, not too complicated. Um, 
I'm gonna add kind of a large lump of clay right underneath the tongue here. I'm gonna shape it into like a little bit of a, a crescent moon shape. Actually, no, it's more like a bean. Me and the boys out at 2 a.m. looking for beans. And this is a bit tricky, but I'm using my two fingers to tuck it up underneath the tongue. See how I did that? Where's my ball? Can you see me? Good. Well, I don't, I don't care if you can see me, but can you see what I'm doing? Just blend the lines. And you know what? If you can, make it so that the bean kind of juts out that way, or that way, <laughs> then that's fine. Because then it'll just look like a bit of a, a skin fold or whatever. And then if you want to add another crevasse between that and the end, even better. Good, yes, very good. And ooh, actually continue that crevice all the way down to the floor of the mouth. Do the same on the other side, which you will not be able to see, and I'm not even going to try to move the camera to accommodate, accommodate it, because that's going to be a pain in the ass. I can barely get my head to see it. And as it is, I can only see it with one eye, which is really messing up the depth. Let me tell you that. I think I'm going to focus on making this side pretty, and then just do the other side off camera, because you can't see that anyhow, and it's getting close to wrap-up time. You'll note that I bumped up the stream time to an hour instead of 45 minutes. Okay, now you're just going to add nothing, apparently. That noodle jumped ship. Anyway, you're just gonna add some some lines, some uh, some noodles. And I don't think it really matters um, what size they are or how symmetrical they are, just as long as they're all going in the same direction. Suck a nut. And it is recommended, actually, that you have some of them going up onto the underside of the tongue. Fuck you. Easy there. Okay, so I'm going under, and I'm going to press it with my finger right about there. And using some tool or another, I'm just going to tuck it in. Yeah, that's the business right there. That's what we want. That's it. That's fucking it right there. Hell yeah. And then give it a light squish with your finger, just enough to tuck it, lock it in place. And then blend it. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. This is a tricky spot because I don't want to scrape away the gums, but I gotta get in that nook. Come on, you just blend it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Now for 
the other side. That's going to be tricky, tricky, tricky. You think you're hot shit? Uh uh. Not till I cook you. Son. Gotcha. Um. Ball. I'm gonna use the ball to blend in past this point because using the blender man I don't think I'll be able to get as smooth of a blend because it's got that point. And as it is, I don't like the choppiness of the ball either. But I can come back and smooth it out after I just get the main seam blended. Yeah. Alrighty. Oof. Shrug it off. Shrug it off. So now we've got that. I'm gonna use Blender Man on these rough parts here. Ow! That's hot. And my finger, I'm just going to lightly squish that bit, and then Blender Man again. Then I'll, I'll blend that side later. Okay, so, is that it for the tongue? Yeah, I'm actually going to, no, I'm going to add one more line to the side. And I'm going to tuck this one sort of underneath the one that came up and over. Yes. And these are highlighting like the veins and the muscles of the tongue. Turn this just a little bit. Excuse me a moment. Whoopsies. Oopsies. That's why you got to be very careful when you're dragging instead of just pressing and moving on. Because you might accidentally pick up some crap or drag some stuff with you. Alright, so I am going to call it there, off camera, I am going to blend the other side, add some more noodles, but here is the mouth. Oh, 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 I have, a, I have something for that, hang on, it's very blurry, but it's very blurry because it's up close. And you know what would help with that is if I had a lens. Okay, dry.
Megan, you gotta come to the camera. Oh, this is not working. This is not working nearly as well as I would have liked. Okay, yeah, sorry, that's just not gonna work. Uh, it's just too tricky. Anyway, there's, there's the dragon. There's the mouth. Um, I may add some more gums. Like so. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Signing off. Um, like and a follow. Sorry, this episode was kind of tame. Wasn't feeling the vibes like I was yesterday. Still better than the first one, though. <laughs> uh, catch you later.